Hi guys, it's Monica. I am going to do a sort of a comparison review on the Super Goop, and I have two of them here, the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen 40 SPF, right? This is the one I'm pretty well almost out of. I'm getting ready to cut this and then put it in a bag so I can scoop out the rest of the stuff in here. I do that with all of my makeup and all any products that are in tubes like this, especially my expensive toothpaste. I just cut it and then I can dig out inside and use it because that's what happens with these tubes. You can't, you can't always get it all out. Anyways, I have been using the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen for a while. Um, it was Sheila, my good friend, uh, simply Sheila that first turned me on to it and there's a number of reasons why I, I use it um, but probably the most prevalent for me is that it it sits well with my makeup and I have first of all dry skin I'm 68 years old I have a lot of wrinkles and I've just had Mohs surgery so I'm dealing with a scar that I have to keep covered and make sure that my skin is protected at all times. I'm also very outdoorsy. I love camping, I love walking the beach, I love being outside. So sunscreen is a big deal for me. And it's also, I wish it was a big deal when I was younger, but it wasn't. But it's also the best thing you can do for your skin, especially if you want to anti-age or age gracefully, is to protect that skin. And if you are especially using anything like Retin-A. So that said, the Unseen Sunscreen, this tube, I think last time I bought it was just under $30, I believe, or maybe more. I'd have to look it up. But I love, love this. It, it has a real silicone effect when you put it on. It's clear. It has a silicone effect. It almost smooths your pores. It almost becomes a, a beautiful, beautiful primer. It, anyways, I don't love the price, <laughs> you know, especially the way I had to use it. So even though I don't like the price, I did order, and this is, I think, my, this would be my third tube that I've had just this summer. That's how heavy I've been using it, and I use it heavy. So when you put the Super Goop on, uh, on your, you know, I do it after I put my scar away on, and I let my scar away dry on my nose, on my, my area, and I've done all my skincare, whatever I want to do. Then I put my Super Goop on, and I put it all over my face, go to my ears, my neck, whatever. Um, and then I'll let it dry. So normally my routine, whether or not you have to let it dry this long, is going to be entirely up to you. But I do. I let it dry maybe 15 minutes. I'm walking around doing something. And then I'll put the rest of my makeup on. And my makeup, gone, my makeup goes on flawlessly. There's no peeling. There's no beading. There's no gunk. You know, like sometimes you put sunscreen on and then you put your foundation on and you just, it just comes up. You know, it beads off. And... I hate it. None of that. So this has been my number one favorite this year. I still use the Australian Gold, the mineral sunscreen that I use that's tinted. And I still, when I use that, I do have to always add some sort of oil or moisturizer to it. So I still have that. I still like it. I would say that's number two for me in general. But the Super Goop is just hands down has been awesome. So I've talked about it. A number of my friends here on YouTube, my subscribers, have reached out to me, sent me direct messages and emails saying to try the Trader Joe's. Well, the problem with the Trader Joe's is you can't get it. And this is the Daily Facial Sunscreen, 40 SPF, the exact same size as the Super Goop, although it looks bigger and it's only because the cap is bigger. But the actual, it's the exact same size. I think it's 1.7 um, fluid ounces. So they're the exact same size wise. And, you know, everyone was saying, check it out, check out the ingredients, check it out, you know, see how you like it. It is a dupe for the Super Goop. And apparently there's been a number of videos. Dr. Dre is one, a number of other reviewers that have reviewed it. So here is my take on this. And I'm going to open this up because um, the only difference that I could see between the Trader Joe's and the Super Goop was the, the, the two ingredients. And the Trader Joe's dupe has 2% more of something called octocylene. 
I'll, I'll leave it in the comments below. I don't know how to, how to pronounce it. Octosilene and 4% more of hamistlate, hamistlate than the super goop. Other than that, the ingredients are identical. So according to the National Library of Medicine, I actually got this off of the internet, octosilene, which it has 2% more, is a very common ingredient found in sunscreens that is thought to help with moisturizing, which is probably why I am digging the Trader Joe's as much as I am because I have very dry skin. And the hamoslate or almoslate or whatever it is, is an ingredient that helps prevent direct sun exposure to the sun's harmful rays. So um, by absorbing the ultra ultraviolet light, um, that's it. So both the Trader Joe's and the Supergoop have all of those same ingredients. It's just the Supergoop has a little bit more in the percentages of those two ingredients that I talked about. So I'm going to show you. I, I do shake it up. So if you haven't used this, you know, you will know that it comes off. And the first one I'm going to put on my hand is going to be, if I can still get some out of this, uh, twist it up. Because I am like, all right, I'm going to open up the new one. Because... That one is needs to be cut and dried. So this is going to be the closest one. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know if you can see. That's the super goop. And the one that I'm going to put closest to my, my watch is going to be the Trader Joe's. So the Trader Joe's, the super goop. Trader Joe's is a little bit lighter in color. Um, for me, where the Trader, where the Super Goop, I'm sorry, is a little bit more yellowish looking in color. It doesn't impact my skin at all. And the Trader Joe's is more clearer. Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know if that'll pick up, but I am loving this. So what I've done, I'm going to smear this into my skin. I mean, it's identical. Now it's going to have to dry on, obviously, but it's identical. So the front part near my knuckles is a super goop, and near my watch is the Trader Joe's. So what I've done all week is I've done half my face. I picked up the, the Trader Joe's last Sunday. My girlfriend had picked it up because you can't find it anywhere. So I would recommend if you, um, if you want to try it, go on to the Trader Joe's website, put your, put your name on their mailing list, and then you might get notifications. You can, you can request different notifications. So I wore half my, and today as well, I've got half my face covered with my Trader Joe's and the other half with my Super Goop. I let my skin dry this morning, probably a good 20 minutes. I don't think I needed to let it dry that much, but I did let it dry that, you know, that long because I was just busy doing other things. And then I came in and I put on a cover up on my scar. And I've been using the fair cover up. It's it's the best cover up for me. So I've been putting that on my scar and a little bit on my eyes where my darkness was. And then I took my Estee Lauder foundation and I put four dots on my face and I put my Estee Lauder on with a brush. I've been doing the brush lately. I don't know why. But I put it on and the foundation just goes so smoothly over. It, it's the the super goop and the Trader Joe's is I think sort of like a beautiful primer and my foundation just smoothly go, went over equally as smooth on both sides of my face I I look at myself when I go to work I go in the mirror I'm not seeing any pilling of it I'm not seeing any any negative things that I have with other sunblocks I've put other sunblocks on including the Australian gold because it's drier and then I look in my, my magnifying mirror and I can see little beading and stuff like that. I'm not seeing it. So um, just really a beautiful, a beautiful finish. And uh, you can't, I mean, you, it's not fully dried yet. It's still tacky. It's going to be tacky for, you know, a little bit longer than this video will go, I'm sure. But I'm absolutely loving it. And the price point, the Trader Joe's, I think, was $8.99. Or $7.99, I can't remember. Um, compared to nearly $30 for the Super Goop. Product wise, absolutely love the Trader Joe's. If you love the Super Goop, if you love the fact that it has the, um, 
what is the titanium dioxide the dioxide I'll have to look that up that one ingredient that concerns me because of hair loss neither one of these has that um, if you want something that's going to go really good under your makeup and play really nice when you if you have dry skin and now I'm sure this works equally as nice to somebody that has normal skin or non-dry you know dry skin you may want to maybe you powder, powder it down or something I'm not sure but so just a quick video guys because I you guys have asked me about this many of you had recommended this and you were spot on on your recommendation I am loving it so this is definitely a go for me almost identical almost identical but for the price point for me and having the fact that I have dry skin the price point for me makes this one a better product you know in my dry skin so I am absolutely loving the Trader Joe's dupe. I also tried, um, my girlfriend had picked up one of their hand creams. So I'm using a hand cream that uh, aren't from Trader Joe's and I think I'll show it to you. I'm hoping this, I'm hoping this picks up. But anyways, it is the, oh, it'd help if I held it up the right way, right? <laughs> Instead of upside down. It's the Trader Joe's Ultra moisturizing hand cream now my girlfriend is very uh, scent sensitive and so she didn't like the smell I really don't even smell anything and I think it's a very nice smell I love this cream so Trader Joe's I think has a number of good products I've been told by other people that they've got a lot of uh, skincare line that's awesome so so far this has been a huge hit for me the two products from Trader Joe's I will definitely recommend especially the sunscreen and even the hand cream but i would definitely recommend if you have a trader joe's near you check out their product lines and check out that sunscreen again the one that i'm liking is the daily facial sunscreen broad spectrum spf 40 like a beautiful primer so my hand oh it feels really nice it feels really nice great base to put makeup on <laughs> I think so that's my take that's my review thank you to all of you who suggested I try this you were spot on grab it if you see it guys have a wonderful day bye bye